We have discovered many things underground, but only a few people know about the mysterious things and artifacts that disappeared beneath the waters of our planet. These things are often left forgotten in their watery graves, but sometimes drought and other circumstances lead them to be rediscovered once more. Let's explore some of the most astonishing things in drained lakes, rivers, and ponds worldwide. From centuries-old Nandi statues to a dried Martian lake bed, here are 15 bizarre discoveries found in drained water bodies. Number 15. Centuries-old Nandi statues. None of the locals in a small village in Orasakere, India expected a massive monolith statue to be discovered in the local lake. In 2019, a pair of massive Nandi statues were excavated from a dried-up lake near the village. Both statues were several centuries old, and it was astonishing that they remained intact despite being submerged for years. According to the locals, they knew they were Nandis in the lake, but they didn't anticipate the size of the statues. They claimed that the heads of the Nandis would appear every summer as the water in the lake recedes. The statues were both Nandis, but they weren't identical in size. The larger one was around 15 feet in length and about 12 feet tall, while the other was significantly smaller. The locals who volunteered to unearth the statues worked vigorously for four days, and their hard work paid off. When they finished excavating, they were rewarded with the exposed giant Nandi statues facing each other. According to experts, the two statues were carved out of smooth soapstone during the 16th or 17th centuries. The name Nandi pertains to happiness. The Nandi is a sacred bull that belonged to Shiva, the Hindu god. It often represents power, joy, virility, delight, and sometimes destructiveness. The discovery of the Nandis led people to believe that an ancient temple might be beneath the lake, remaining undisturbed for centuries. However, several archaeologists argue that the Nandis might have simply been transported to the lake and were left forgotten. Regardless, the statues were already significant discoveries, especially for those who believe in Shiva. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Underwater Ghost Village of Italy In the 12th century, the village of Fabrique di Caragine flourished in Tuscany, Italy. The village was founded by blacksmiths, and over time the population increased. For centuries, residents of the village lived peacefully, until 1946. That year, residents of the village were all forced to relocate to the nearby town of Valle di Soto because of a hydroelectric dam. Building the dam meant they needed to abandon their homes and begin new lives in a new place. That same year, the village was flooded. It remained submerged underwater until recently when drought caused the waters of the dam to recede to an incredibly low level. The receding waters brought some of the historical structures of the village to the surface for everyone to see. The ruins were hauntingly beautiful, and people from all around the world flocked to the exposed 12th century village to get a glimpse of the past. Despite being submerged in water for centuries, most of the establishments in the village were in relatively good condition. After seeing the intrigue and curiosity of the public towards the old village, officials began contemplating opening it as a tourist destination. At the time, the village was sacrificed for the betterment of the country. After all, Hydropower accounts for 67% of all energy produced from renewable sources within the country. Italy is also among the largest producers of hydropower in Europe, and one of the countries that saw the biggest reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. This goes to show that perhaps some things need to be sacrificed for the greater good. Number 13. Lake of Skeletons One of the perpetuating mysteries of the world is the case of the Lake of Skeletons at Rupkund Lake. The so-called Lake of Skeletons was a literal pit filled with hundreds of human bones. It's located in a remote lake 16,500 feet above sea level, up high in the Indian Himalayas, where the temperature and wind are unforgiving. Beneath the ice are hundreds of skeletons that were first discovered by a patrolling British forest ranger in 1942. Needless to say, the man was extremely disturbed by what he found. It wasn't uncommon to see frozen bodies on the mountains. After all, many hikers and travelers often lost their way in the Alps, but seeing a lake filled with bones seemed too deliberate to be dismissed as a coincidence. It was apparent that someone had dumped several corpses in the lake and left them there. When the lake of skeletons was carefully analyzed, the discovery became more horrifying. Between 600 and 800 people were cramped at the bottom of the mystery lake, with some of them only reappearing when the snow melted. The identity and origin of the skeletons remained unanswered for almost half a century. 
Who are these people? Were they brutally killed before they were dumped into the lake? Who killed them? And why? It wasn't until recently that scientists managed to propose several theories to these questions. According to an old story, the remains belonged to an Indian king, his entourage, and his people. It was believed that while traveling the Himalayas, the group perished in a blizzard more than eight centuries ago. Preliminary DNA studies showed the bones belonged to people of South Asian ancestry, and radiocarbon dates from around 800 AD. This initial research supported the theory about the Indian king, but some people weren't convinced. Other theories suggest that the bodies belong to pilgrims, while some propose that the bodies belong to soldiers who tried to invade Tibet and ultimately failed. We're still unsure about the identity of the remains, but if there's something that researchers are certain about, it's the fact that all 600 to 800 people died in a single event. Number 12. Meteorite Older Than The Earth in 1969, the same year the Apollo 11 mission launched Armstrong and Aldrin to the moon, a meteorite crashed into rural southeastern Australia and left behind an intriguing object. The fragments were found in a dried lake in Australia, and although they looked like ordinary space rocks, it soon turned out that that wasn't the case. After analyzing the fragments, astronomers were amazed by its contents. The meteorite fragments contained pieces of stardust older than our planet, and even older than our very own sun. These pre-solar grains existed long before our own solar system formed billions of years ago. The exciting discovery baffled a lot of scientists all around the world. Can you imagine how much information a single speck of dust can hold? This stardust is similar than a grain of salt and only measures from 2 to 30 micrometers in size. And yet, these fragments have witnessed how the sun came to be and how life on Earth began. Perhaps there's something special in Australia. After all, scientists also found the oldest known minerals in the country in a rock from Jack Hills that formed 4.4 billion years ago, 100 million years after the Earth was formed. Number 11. Ghost Village in Spain Getting a glimpse of this village in Spain from an aerial view gives quite an eerie feeling. This is the village of Aceredo in Galicia, Spain. It was once a bustling settlement that has been reduced to ruins. The vibrant homes are now cracked. Crates with empty beer bottles, destroyed cars, rusted pillars, and crumbling stone walls. The village looks like an eerie and abandoned ghost town. It was as if the place was the set of a dystopian movie, but the locals were drawn in by the exposed ruins. The ghost village was a normal community until 1992, when it was flooded to create the Alto Lindoso Reservoir. All its residents relocated and built new lives elsewhere, while their homes crumbled away in the watery graves. But in February 2022, the locals had the chance to get a brief glimpse of the village frozen in the 1990s after extreme temperatures reduced the dam's water levels. According to locals who saw the haunting site, the ruins reminded them about our changing planet and how inevitably, in the future, our homes might end up with the same fate. Some of the past residents of the village of Aceredo shared their memories while living there in the 1990s. A wave of nostalgia and fatalism washed over them as they reminisced about their lives in the now ghost town. Although many of them never wanted to abandon their homes, they had no choice and they needed to move on. Number 10. Human Skeletons in Lake Mead In 2022, dropping water levels exposed many astonishing things hidden beneath Lake Mead. A sunken boat, World War II landing craft, ancient rocks, and more were discovered as the water in the lake receded. But perhaps the most surprising thing was the remains of a human. A diver initially spotted what appeared to be a human bone in the lake. The discovery prompted the authorities to conduct search operations, and it yielded the discovery of more human remains. A total of six human remains were recovered in the lake due to its dropping water levels from the prolonged drought that hit most of the United States that year. The discovery was quite creepy, but it seemed like most of the remains weren't victims of murder or anything sinister. However, one of the bodies was reported to belong to a homicide victim who died in the mid-70s to early 80s. How the body ended up there, we don't know. The other remains were believed to belong to people who drowned in the lake in the early 2000s. This discovery disturbed quite a few people who claim that each time they visit a lake, they're forced to think that skeletal remains are at the bottom of the lake bed. Number 9. Viking Weapons 
One of the places that was affected by the extreme heat that hit Europe in 2022 is Norway. The rising temperature melted glaciers deep in the country's Jotunheimen mountain range, and it led to quite an intriguing discovery. An iron-tipped arrow was found by a team of glacial archaeologists from Oslo's Museum of Cultural History. It's amazing to imagine that nearly eight centuries ago, a Viking warrior held an iron-pointed arrow to hunt and catch a deer. However, it missed and hit the ground. Many years later, it was found by experts who managed to draw a picture of how the arrow ended up in the mountain range hundreds of years ago. The Vikings came from a place that is now known as Scandinavia, particularly Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. However, historical records also claim that there were also Vikings in Finland and Estonia as well. They were known as raiders, pirates, explorers, and colonizers who occupied most of Europe during the 9th to 11th centuries. Today, they're among the most intriguing people who lived in the past. Number 8. Bombay Beach Town On the Salton Sea lies a post-apocalyptic town. Bombay Beach was once the most popular tourist spot, where hipsters and all the famous people gathered. Looking at this nightmarish town filled with graffiti and dead fish, no one would suspect that it was once a thriving resort town in the 50s and the 60s. The Bombay Beach once boasted clear waters and relaxing landscapes. But after an ecological disaster caused its waters to turn toxic, the patrons who visited the town immediately left. Those who had hopes that the town would return to its former glory lost hope months after the waters overtook most of the town. Today, the abandoned resort town looks like the setting of a horror movie, surrounded by dead birds, dead fish, toxic dust, and nothingness. Bombay Beach Town is now a stark comparison to what it was at its peak. Back then, it was a vibrant community filled with life, but today, it's a depressing place. But in 2019, it seemed to have regained a new reputation as hipsters and artists began to flock to the area to take photos, draw, and gather inspiration in the decaying homes across the town. Number 7. Wedding Rings Wedding rings are considered the most important accessories in the world. Having a glistening band on your ring finger meant that you have already promised to spend your life with someone. Regardless of your wedding ring's price, the symbolism and promise that comes with it are the important factors. And so, when a gentleman named Steve Watts lost his wedding ring in Marine Lake Clevedon, Somerset, he remembered the incident for years. Steve thought that he wouldn't see his ring ever again. But luckily, local cleanup volunteers came to his rescue. Every summer, the lake was drained and cleaned to make sure that it would stay pristine the next year. But even without the deep water, and only the muddy lake bed exposed, the lake is still 15,000 square meters big, and it's impossible to find a small ring. This task would be like finding a needle in a haystack. But with a stroke of luck and serendipity, two young boys helping in the annual cleanup of the lake found the wedding ring. The two young boys handed over the ring to the rightful owner and simply walked away. Steve commended the boys for their honesty, and after 10 long years of being married, he finally got back the wedding ring he had lost. Number 6. Dinosaur Tracks in the Paluxy River Most people only recognize the Tyrannosaurus rex. This massive carnivore with strangely short arms was considered the king of the dinosaurs, but it wasn't the only formidable predator that lived millions of years ago. In the early Cretaceous period, about 112 million years ago, North America was the home to the massive Archocanthosaurus. It resembled the T-Rex, and it was just as ferocious. This dinosaur is among the species with the largest specimen ever discovered, with one skeleton reaching 38 feet long and weighing 6.6 .6 metric tons. It's hard to believe that such massive amazing predators lived on the same Earth that we live on today, but the evidence is all around us. In 2022, 113 million-year-old footprints were revealed by the receding waters in the Paluxy River in Texas. The footprints belonged to an adult Archocanthosaurus that roamed Texas millions of years ago. The deep footprints showed how massive these creatures were, and if they were alive today, our world would be incredibly different. The footprints were last visible in 2000, but disappeared as the water rose again. Archaeologists believe that weathering and natural erosion will erase the dinosaur tracks in the distant future. But it's better to leave them alone than to recklessly excavate them. Number 5. 3,400-Year-Old City The Tigris River, which borders Mesopotamia and the Fertile Crescent, is among the most important bodies of water in the history of mankind. 
The Tigris, along with the Euphrates, brought life to the earliest known civilizations. Ancient empires rose and fell in the river basin – Sumer, Babylonia, Assyria, and more. Recently, extreme drought revealed yet another settlement that took advantage of the blessings brought by the Tigris River. A sprawling 3,400-year-old city rose to the surface of the Mosul Reservoir in the Kurdistan region of northern Iraq in the first months of 2022. The abandoned city was believed to be built during the Bronze Age. It was known as Zakiku, a place that served as a major hub of the Mitanni Empire that reigned from 1550 to 1350 BC. The existence of the ancient settlement wasn't a secret, but in the 1980s, it was deliberately submerged underwater when the Iraqi government built the Mosul Dam. It remained submerged for several decades and only showed several parts of itself when the waters receded. And so when drought exposed the entire ancient settlement, archaeologists began excavating and examining the site. However, it was a race against time. Little is known about the ancient Mitanni Empire, and the archaeologists wanted to take advantage of the exposed ruins to learn more about them. They worked day and night to make sure that they gathered all the information before the waters rose again. Over 100 clay cuneiform tablets were discovered, along with ceramic vessels and other artifacts. The tablets are yet to be deciphered, but because they were well preserved, it won't take long before archaeologists decode them. After thousands of years, we will finally learn more about the empire that succumbed to a devastating earthquake. And now, it's time for today's topic. They drained this canal for the first time in decades, and what they discovered was truly bizarre. The Canal Saint-Martin is a 4.6-kilometer-long canal in Paris, connecting Canal de l'Orc to the River Seine. It was dug between 1802 and 1825, and its establishment changed how people lived in France. Because of the canal's proximity to the residences, it was expectedly filled with trash and all sorts of rubbish. After all, it was easy for the locals and the tourists to toss anything they wanted into the canal. For this reason, the authorities found it necessary to completely drain the canal every 10 to 15 years. Needless to say, authorities found all sorts of things in the canal, such as bicycles, motorcycles, cars, wine bottles, cameras, and more. The drained canal was a treasure trove of trinkets and rubbish, and the locals were aware of it. That's why every time the canal was drained, People attempted to go down and find something valuable in the muddy canal. In most cases, they found nothing but rusted trash. But there are instances when they found centuries-old artifacts and more. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. 600-Year-Old Buddhist Statues Stretching 700,000 square miles, the Yangtze River Basin provides water, transport, livelihood, and food for over one-third of China's 1.3 billion people. More importantly, it supplies more than 40% of the country's GDP. Its significance is relative to its size. After all, the Yangtze River is the biggest river in Asia and the third longest in the world. And so, when its water levels began dropping in 2022, the locals were incredibly worried. But the drought that hit the country exposed the river's secrets. After 600 years, three carved Buddha statues emerged from the river. It was a magnificent creation that endured being underwater and showed no signs of decay. The center statue depicted a monk sitting on a lotus. The photos of the statues immediately spread throughout the country. People claimed that the statues appeared each time drought hit the region, making it seem like the monks were wishing for rain. Number 3 underwater railway tracks. More than a century ago, train tracks stretched over the land where Lake Taps is today. Lake Taps on the King Pierce County line south of Seattle was deliberately flooded in 1911 to power a hydroelectric dam. With the launch of the project, four and a half square miles of countryside needed to be sacrificed, including an old railway line and a small area of the nearby forest. When the dam was drained for a repair, the secrets beneath the water revealed themselves. After more than a century of being submerged, the train trestles remained standing, branches and tree trunks were also exposed, and the remains of a flourishing forest that died when the area was flooded. Lake Taps was only temporarily drained to relieve pressure on the nearby dam that developed a crack. After the repairs, the lake was flooded once again, burying the train trestles and forest once more. Number 2. Ancient Roman Ghost Town Around 75 AD, 
a Roman military camp occupied Galicia, 330 miles from Madrid. Centuries later, the area became a reservoir built to supply water to the nearby settlements, and the historic ruins were completely forgotten. But nearly 2,000 years after the Roman village vanished underwater, drought revealed the ancient town once again. The entire village could be seen as clear as day using a drone that flew over the reservoir. The stunning photos showed the foundations of an ancient Roman Empire that was left untouched for centuries. Although all that remained were foundations of walls and outlines of establishments, during its heyday, this Roman settlement housed up to 600 soldiers. Back then, the town had a temple, thermal baths, army barracks, and even a hospital. But according to archaeologists, the settlement was abandoned long before it was flooded, which explains the town's state of neglect. The aerial footage showed how far out the Roman Empire spread in Europe. If it wasn't for the drought that hit the continent, the 2,000-year-old ghost town would have remained undisturbed beneath the water. But as the water levels rose again, the ancient settlement vanished into its watery grave, only to reappear again in the distant future. Number 1. Dried Martian Lake Bed the Red Planet has been the subject of curiosity and intrigue for humans on Earth even before we managed to venture to outer space. We're still unsure whether Mars once supported life, but a recent discovery hinted that the planet once contained life. The Curiosity rover on Mars discovered ancient lake bedrock on its surface, which could have been the habitat of microbial life long before man sent the first rover to the planet. The location, known as the Jezero Crater, was once an ancient Martian river delta. Billions of years ago, this now-dried lake might have supported tiny organisms which somehow went extinct over the years. According to NASA, the Perseverance Project was launched primarily to reconstruct Mars's environment from the distant past, at a time when the Red Planet was more appropriate to sustain life. Unfortunately, it takes years of careful analysis and research to confirm the correct information about Mars. Researchers believe that the Jezero Crater was once surrounded by volcanoes and experienced significant volcanic activity, which guaranteed the presence of microorganisms billions of years ago. Furthermore, the rock samples NASA gathered from the area were made of sediments that were carried by liquid water. Although it's exciting to find these samples, they don't mean much. At least, not until we discover actual microorganisms thriving on the Red Planet. So which one of these strange discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.